Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This video I'm gonna be talking about CICD. So essentially this video, I'll be teaching you how to create a very simple CICD pipeline for your AWS Lambda. The goal is essentially, you know, when we commit code to a main branch, automatically I want it to be deployed on my AWS. Now, as you know, right, CICD is very, very important whether you are a small, big or a medium sized company because it allows us essentially to a ship software much more faster. So in this small video, as I said, right, very small video, rather basic, I will be teaching you how to create your very first CI CD pipeline on GitLab. All right, let's get started. By the way, I have a full series on serverless framework. If you want, please check that out. All right, so I have a file called um, handler in that I have a function called hello. And first of all, I will show you the project directory. So in this project directory, we have serverless.yml, handler.py, and gitlab-ci.yml. So here I have a simple hello world function that right, uh, which whenever I commit my code, uh, you know, on main, I want this to be deployed to AWS. After that, I have my YML file. And remember, this is very, very basic. I haven't added tags. I am not defining memory or timeouts and all the other parameters that I can define on a Lambda very basic we just want to learn hello world and then we can add all the cool stuff right so very simple right function hello handler right we are calling that function now let's take a look at gitlab.yml file now the file name has to be gitlab.yml this is uh, given in their documentation when i was studying it right so the end goal of this video would be when you see the pipeline you will have a very 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 beautiful button uh, i have already deployed this though You'll have a button called dev and you can click on this uh, play button and automatically it will ship your code to AWS, right? So over here, uh, stages, I'm just calling it a deploy. Right now, I'm just defining a very simple stage. Okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm creating a stage called dev and this has been linked to this deploy stage, right? I'm using a node image when I'm saying manual, which means I want to manually deploy. If you remove it, whenever you commit your code, automatically it will de uh, deploy it. For testing purposes, you know, I made when as manual. Uh, only main means uh, run my pipeline on the main branch on my GitLab repository, right? Uh, then you have some uh, before script. So you have echo. I'm just printing my first CI CD pipeline. I'm printing a variable that I'll show you how to do that. Then essentially I'm installing the, some of the packages for serverless and then I'm configuring my serverless. So I'm saying serverless configure credential provider AWS hyphen hyphen key. And this is where the value would be injected from my GitLab variable, right? So here, the way you access that is using a dollar operator and the variable name, right? So essentially I'm defining my AWS access and secret key. After that, you know the rest, it's easy. The magic word serverless deploy. <laughs> so it's really, really that easy to make a CI CD pipeline. So once you have done that, now the only step that you're missing here, uh, if you come to your settings page and if you come to, I guess it was general or integration, I just have to figure that out. I forgot, I think it was under, uh, let me see. So I think it was under integration. No, 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 it was not under integration. I'm looking for the variables and I believe I saw that under the CI CD, yes. Uh, sorry, I just got confused here. Uh, now over here, you will have variables. So here you need to define two variables, AWS access uh, key underscore ID and then the value, AWS secret underscore access underscore key, your secret key goes there and then whatever you wanna define, right? Now, as you can see, uh, now I can come here I can come to my pipeline, right? And I can simply deploy the pipeline with a simple click of a button and I can ship my code much, much more faster. Uh, by doing that, you'll also see all the, you know, output statement in the terminal. So for example, if you had that echo statement, remember? So see here, I'm seeing that my first CI CD pipeline. Uh, so you essentially see all, all, all of these. So if anything goes wrong, you will essentially see this in the terminal and hopefully you can fix that. It is that actually easy to essentially make a CI CD pipeline, right? And uh, as you can see, uh, you know, here is my function. When I click the deploy button, it automatically deployed uh, my uh, my code here uh, to the AWS, right? 
So what I'm gonna do, I'll leave the template section in the description section below. Remember, we can add linters and a lot more things here, but I really, really wanna keep it basic, simple, because I, I, I truly believe the best way to learn something is to go very easy and easy, easy steps. So when you're trying to learn anything new, I would just try to do a hello world. And then I keep adding layers into that as I progress, right? So now next I'll add, you know, uh, black uh, essentially is a, is a PyPyPy package, which will automatically format my code. Then I'll add a flake eight. Uh, again, it's a Python library. You can check that out. I'll add some linters in that. Uh, maybe add some unit tests and, and, and gradually we develop it, right? So that's, that's the goal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed uh, how easy it is uh, to make a simple CI CD pipeline on GitLab. By the way, I have done this on my own personal account. And if you, if you, if you have time, please go and register yourself on GitLab, create a personal account, take this code and try it out yourself. That's the best way to learn. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. The source code is there in the description section below.